Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, an effects cookbook for Motion 5. In this excerpt, I'll show you a different way to do chroma keys to create a fascinating effect. Got it. Okay, now, how do we create it? Well, let's go back, create file, new. Let's make sure we've got this set properly. Anamorphic, click OK. F5, F6. Well, we've got, uh, let's get this organized first. Let's open up layers, create a new group. And let's call the first group background. There's no magic to these names. You can call them whatever you want. Uh, let's call this uh, the key, and it will create one more group, and we'll call that group the text. I find that it's easier to use folders to keep stuff organized because otherwise you get so many layers, dozens, even hundreds of layers. You can't keep track of it all. Folders keeps it organized. Select the background folder, go to the library. A wonderful area to go to is content and backgrounds. These are all animated, they're all full screen, and you're able to have lots of different color choices. Here, for instance, is, is a gradient stage. I've got background selected, click apply, and shift Z, and we've got this nice gradient stage. So now, we're done with the background. Let's just twirl it up, and select the key. We're going to add the frame, so that's in content, frames, I'll use horizontal 4, drag that up. It's a little bit too big. Hold the Option key down, hold the Shift key down, drag it down right about there. Frame's got a nice drop shadow associated with it. It's also got this drop zone. A drop zone is where you can add video. Let's go to the file browser. So we look through the application to the operating system, and here's the video I want to use. And notice she's keyed against a green screen. So grab it and drag it right into the drop zone. Look at that. Now if I play it, we've got that piece of video in the frame without me having to worry about how to create the frame or how to add the drop shadow. You can just stop up there, except I want to get the green screen to go away. Well, this is where it gets really neat. If we highlight the drop zone, I can treat that as though it's a piece of video. The drop zone is highlighted. Go to the Filters button, go to Keying, and apply the keyer. Boom. Done. Look at this. I can see through the frame to the background behind. Well, really, really neat effect. And it works perfectly, but it looks kind of strange because I don't want to see the background behind her. Let's go back to the library. Let's put a different background behind her. Go to backgrounds and scroll down until we find something. Oh, look at that. Lavender. Let's click on that. It almost matches, but not quite. Different enough, but still similar. Click apply. Well, that's pretty awful. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's go up to the fit window and let's make this small enough that we can see what's going on. Hold shift and option, drag it down and move it across. All right, now we're going to just sort of squeeze it until it fits. There we go. Except it's in front of her. Well, that's where the stacking order makes a difference. We're inside the key. There's the horizontal frame. There's the lavender model. There is the chroma key. So simply grab the lavender and drag it below the chroma key. Ta-da! Look at that. Nope, 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 nope. Something's in the wrong spot. Let's find where it went. I do this all the time. There's a preference I forget to set. Notice that my in was way over here because that's where the playhead was. Well, type the letter I. It resets the in. And now we've got that lovely lavender background, which almost matches the sky, but not quite, and clearly sets the chroma key separate from the background. Let's add our text. Twirl up the key folder, twirl up the background folder, highlight the text folder, go down to the toolbar, click the text tool, click in the picture, 
and we're going to say waiting for a talking picture. Ta-da! Da-da-da! Exclamation point. Press the Enter key. Drag it where you want it to go. Show the HUD. F7. Let's change this to something a bit more interesting, like Footlight. We'd make it bold if we could, but we can't. But we can add a drop shadow. Select the inspector, text, style, check drop shadow. And let's just uh, make it a little bit darker, 90%. Add a little bit of a blur. And add a little bit of a distance. Now it makes it better. And now let's add some animation. With our text selected, go down to the Behavior tab, Energetic, and let's have it, I don't know, let's have it jump in. And now we'll play it. Still, it's playing a little bit too slow. We can see that we're down around oh, 10, 12 frames a second, so we'll render that in a second. But I just realized that something I want to do is I want to have, we're waiting for a talking picture. I want to have her wait so she doesn't start moving. So let's twirl down the key. Let's find the drop zone, highlight it. And with the drop zone selected, go back to the Behavior tab. Go to Retiming and select Hold the Frame. This creates a still frame starting at the position of the playhead. Well, in my particular case, I want to have it end at the position of the playhead. So we'll drag the beginning to the left and then type the letter O to set the out. And now watch what happens. It freezes and then picks right up. And the movement starts as she's waiting for a talking picture. So a hold frame allows us to create a freeze frame at the position of the playhead, and we can drag that freeze as though it was a separate object wherever we want it to go. Now, let's just do one more thing. Let's put it right about here. Option, Command, O, go up to Mark, RAM Preview, Play Range. Happens very, very quickly. Notice the Play Range fills in with green, meaning it's been rendered. Spacebar, 30 frames a second, and we see it play back in real time. Is that not cool? This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, an effects cookbook looking at Motion 5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 106. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.